I'm gonna show you guys the most delicious, healthy, slushy recipe. It's okay to not be okay sometimes. All right, you guys, so I just finished my workout and me and Julia actually got in trouble because we were working out together and the lady was like, oh, you can't be working out together because of COVID, da 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 And I just find that like these COVID rules are just so inconsistent. Like we're all wearing masks at the gym and like my sister literally goes to school and people are going to school with masks on in the same classroom, literally sitting beside each other. And it's like, okay, so how can you do that? And how can we go to the grocery store and be beside each other? But we can't like work out together when we have masks on. It just literally doesn't make sense because everyone in the gym is like somewhat close together anyways. And it's just like, okay, if you're gonna imply rules, at least make them consistent so that they all line up and it's not like, random like it just doesn't make sense to me hello you guys what is up it is currently monday 2 40. i just took a shower because i was just at the gym i just finished my workout my appointment was from 12 to 1 so i got home about like an hour and a half ago and i took a, like a really long shower because i just needed it to be honest i just wasn't feeling the best this morning like i was feeling fine in the morning and then i kind of just had like a downwards like i just had a moment where i don't know what like came upon me or what but i just kind of had a moment of kind of like sadness i don't know why it just happened and i picked myself back up i'm good to go now and i'm actually just starving right now so i'm gonna eat something make a matcha or a coffee haven't decided yet and yeah just kind of get the day rolling i did do like some editing and work in the morning but i do have a lot to still do today yeah after my hair dries i'm gonna do it probably straighten it or something because it's gonna get frizzy right now it's just wet like i really like my hair when it's in this stage of the drying process but the reason why it's like looks okay right now is because it's like wet so that's the only reason why it doesn't look frizzy but once it dries you you guys will see it'll get super frizzy and big and then i'm just gonna do it i knew this was gonna happen okay so you all know my rants about this about this the most amazing oat milk of all time there's like nothing left in here anyways i bought nine at a time last time i bought some and we went through it in like two weeks like we literally went through nine bottles in two weeks now i went to go buy more at the grocery store and they're all sold out madison checked some grocery stores i checked and they're all sold out and it makes me want to cry like i should have bought 20. why did i only buy nine yeah so i'm like literally sad because there's barely any of that left i can mix it with like the other oat milk that we have which isn't as good for coffee or matcha but whatever i also want to go out to the grocery store later because i really want to make like veggie wraps for dinner if you guys didn't know i'm trying to be like vegan inspired I'm trying to kind of lean into being vegan so i really want to make like these veggie wraps that i saw with like that peanut butter cool like soy sauce thing thingamajig so i think i'm gonna make that for dinner but i i need to go shopping for that there's just so much to do today you know when you have so much to do and you just don't know where to start so you just kind of like procrastinating because you're like well where do i start i gotta make a list <laughs> also here's me procrastinating more but i just wanted to talk about like it's spring right so it's like allergy season and I don't get allergies like i don't get like a stuffy nose i don't get like an itchy throat but my allergies come like through my eczema i haven't gotten like diagnosed for this type of allergy weirdness but basically when it's this time around and the flowers are blooming and shit i don't get allergies but i do like my allergies portray themselves as like eczema like through my skin like three days ago i was just like itching my face and like i just felt so itchy and like my forehead was full of like eczema i had to like blather it in vaseline and creams and this exact thing happened last year as well so like i knew it was because of like the springtime and i know that cutting out dairy is gonna help me like help it not be as inflamed but i feel like if i take allergy medication it would help a lot because I know usually allergy medication is taken for like symptoms like a runny nose Usually people take allergy medication for like their inner symptoms But I feel like taking allergy medication would just help my skin because it reacts to the pollen and whatever's in the air right now like my eczema literally goes ooh, and out like and it itches like i just feel like i have allergies from my skin like it's hard to explain let me know if you guys have that too but eczema is just such a annoying thing to have and i really want to heal it naturally like i've said in my other videos so that's why i'm trying this vegan thing yeah i'm gonna keep you guys updated on the process of it my eczema as you can see on my forehead it's doing a lot better i have like some on my nose too it's a really weird spots really really not pretty but it's it's so weird because like i'll get a huge flare up and then the next day it'll be completely gone like nothing was ever there and that's like not like my normal eczema like when i norm normal eczema is around i'll have like a an eczema patch there and it'll like be 
around for a while, but this is like flare up and then gone. It's really weird. So it's definitely like caused by allergies and being outside. But like, yeah, I'm gonna make something to eat. I don't really know what yet, but talk to you guys later. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I mean by my hair being like a big lion. Like, it's so poofy. Like, holy shit. Kind of extra poofy today. Like, the shit is so big and thick. Like, I'm not complaining. Like, I love having thick hair, but it's just um, a lot. This is why I don't leave my hair natural. I mean, in the summer, it's kind of a different vibe. It's just easier, like, if I'm swimming, like, I'll leave it natural and whatever. But, like, in the winter and, like, these spring months, it's just, I just can't with it. Like, I just need to do it. So, it's currently 5 o'clock, and me and Joel are just headed out to the grocery store to get some stuff for dinner. Because we're not going to be making the wraps today anymore because my dad wants to make this soup thingy majig. So, we're going to go get him some ingredients for that. Oh my god, look at it. It's literally lion's mane, like... Am I, am I lying? Like, look at that. Like, holy shit. Baby, what are you doing on my floor like that? <gasps> you blend in so nicely. So cute. Does anyone else have a really stupid animal voice, but they just can't help it? Ah, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. I honestly hate going out with my hair like this because it's just like I feel like it looks just literally like whack like it looks like untamable like it's huge it's huge I feel like if I were to get like products to like maintain it and like tame the curls it would be like really nice but yeah, actually let me know if you guys if you guys have any like curl product recommendations leave them for me down below in the comments because that would be great and very helpful but yeah I'm gonna probably just tie my hair in a bun and head to the store <laughs> Okay, so my hair kind of dried nice today like kind of not really but like it's dried the best that it has in like a long time because every time it dries it dries a different way like you never can predict how my hair is gonna dry so it's like when this happens it's like i plan to straighten my hair but it's like do i still straighten it now that it my hair kind of looks good so i might leave my hair like this for the week i'm not sure yet i'm gonna decide like i was gonna straighten it like literally now but i think i'm just gonna sleep on it and see how it looks in the morning and then if i don't like it then i'll just like straighten it tomorrow yeah maybe i'll put like some product in it and that'll make it look a lot better when i was younger i literally used to have an afro and i kind of still do like if my hair was short it'd be like this like, literally like this but yeah it just also makes my hair a lot shorter like when i straighten it it'll be like down here and then when it's like natural it like frizzes and curls up you know so hey you guys so it is currently 3 45 and i did decide to leave my hair natural this is a little out of my comfort zone because i never do this i did put some product in it i'll actually show you guys what i put in it because in case anyone is curious so i put this she moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil so i j literally just lathered this in there and then i put argan oil this thing and that's it and it kind of tamed it actually pretty well i'm kind of impressed I think it just dried nicely because I put Olaplex in it so that definitely really helped because I never used to use Olaplex but it definitely like helps enhance and defrizzes the curls and then this like the like the she moisture thing it really just helped to like depuff it and make it more just like flat to my head instead of like out like that so me and Joel are actually going to go play tennis right now because it's a beautiful day and I was editing like the whole morning and afternoon I'm not like quite done yet but we're just gonna go play tennis and have a little bit of a break and then come back and finish off for the day and then i think tonight we're gonna have a fire which is exciting because we haven't had a fire in like since the summer it's like literally feels like summer it's insane but then the weather's tricking us because next week it's gonna be raining so and yeah i'm gonna be so rusty because me and joel started playing tennis like last year and we played for like the couple months of summer and then it got like shit weather so we haven't played in like months so we're gonna be so bad but i just really wanted to get out and do something fun so we're gonna do that this is the fit for today it's literally hot so shorts and a little crop top thing imaging i'm gonna bring the camera to play tennis or maybe i'll just like film my phone so i don't have to bring it around but yeah let's go play some tennis pretty girls want me shout out to they mommy All the pretty girls want me Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the most delicious, healthy, slushy recipe that I used to make all the time in the summer and I haven't made it since the summer. But this is literally so healthy and so delicious and you can do it with like any fruit of your choice. But I'm just gonna show you guys with strawberries. It's also like so good with pineapple, but it's just pineapple like really affects my tongue because of like the acidity. So even if I have like this much of the drink, 
when it has pineapple in it, my tongue will like burn. So I like to stick to strawberry. So this is what you do. You take frozen fruit, whatever kind you want. This strawberry is my choice of the day. Usually I do do strawberry just because it's my favorite. Fill this up. I'm not gonna make too much. Actually, maybe Joel's gonna want some, so I'll make a little more. So fill her up with your fruit. This literally tastes like a slushy, like a healthy Slurpee. I'm not even joking you, it's divine. All right, so then you're gonna put coconut water and this is key, okay? You can probably do it with regular water, but it's not gonna taste as tropical. And also coconut water is like super hydrating. Um, and then you need lime, okay? Lime is also one of the key ingredients. It just gives it the best limey, summery, acidity flavor. It's literally amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna take half a lime and then I'm gonna put her in here, squeeze it in. And then I'm gonna get some honey. Also really random fact, but apparently honey is really good for allergies. It does have to be like a local honey because obviously it's like, you know, the bees make the honey and it just prevents allergies. It's kind of like apparently like taking like a vaccine for allergies because all of like the spring pollen is in the honey, if that makes sense. So by ingesting it, you're getting your body like used to it. I don't really know the science behind it, but that's pretty much what I know. Okay, so I just put like a tablespoon of honey in here. Mm, this shit's so good. Okay. And that's literally it. Then you just blend her up and it's the best slushy ever, I promise you. And it's healthy and so refreshing. And that's literally it. Ugh, come on. I mean, my goodness. Oh, there you go. And it literally has like the consistency of a slushy. Like it's so good. Okay, let's taste her. Mmm. It's so refreshing. Like this is such a good alternative if you're like craving a Slurpee or something. So much healthier, so good. You can also sweeten this with like natural maple syrup, but I thought that I would use honey just to like switch up my maple syrup addiction. You know what I'm saying? I've been obsessed with this song by Justin Bieber. So good and just like summer vibe song. I don't know what it is about it. Just gets me in a good mood. I literally wish that music wasn't copyrighted. Like, I just don't understand why copyright music in YouTube videos, like if anything, it's giving the song promotion. Like, we're not trying to steal your song. We're literally just, we just like it. Like, I, I just I just don't get the whole copyright strike thing. Like, it's kind of dumb to me, but it does make sense at the same time, but just not really. I wish I could use any song I want in my videos. It's just so annoying. Also, I do this thing to myself when I have a favorite song and I'll overplay it. Like every time I get in the car, I'll like play it and I will just play it once. Like I'll repeat the song at least 10 times in a row. And then like I'll play one song in between and then play it another 10 times. And then it just gets old so fast. And this song never hits the same after you've listened to it for the first time, which is kind of sad. Like, does anyone else do this? Does anyone else like play their favorite song until they get bored of it within like a day? And then they're kind of sad. They're like, why, why did I do that? Like, I'm not even joking you, I'll get in the car and I'll play the song 10 times and then play one song in between. And then I'll hear like my that favorite song like a year later. Like, oh my God, this is such a good song. And then I'll do it again and then get tired of it. I should really spread spread out my songs more. Hey guys, so I'm currently in my backyard and we have some really beautiful like fruit trees out here and they're like blossoming right now and they're so beautiful. But I just wanted to do a little bit of a moment by Michaela out here because you know I'm feeling the vibes and nature peaceful and I just wanted to talk about like it's okay to not be okay sometimes yesterday I believe it was I wasn't in the greatest mood in the morning and it's like I wasn't really sure why I just like literally wasn't and that's inevitable like as we're humans and we're gonna not always be like all yipsy daisy and happy and I know in my videos I always show that side of me obviously but there are times where I do get a little bit down even sometimes for no reason and that is completely fine like that's totally normal and yeah I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm not like 100% of the time happy I obviously have my ups and downs I do have a lot more ups than downs but I do have some rare occasions where I just don't feel the best and sometimes there's no reason and that's fine but I think that the most important part is that when you're feeling down is just how you pick yourself back up and not to fall into that downward spiral because when I was mad I could have kept thinking bad thoughts and I could have just kept going with myself and I could have moped around and da 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 like that could have been the rest of my day but I decided and I told myself I was like look okay we're gonna feel the emotions right now we're gonna feel the sadness 
the anger, whatever it is, we're gonna feel it. Then we're gonna let it go and we're gonna move past it and move on to happier thoughts and we're gonna fill my mind and my body with happier things that is gonna boost my mood and pick myself back up. I think that's just like important that when you get into those bad moods or when you get angry, it's just important to pick yourself back up, take a few deep breaths, feel it, think about it, and then be like, okay, felt it, that emotion is gone now, letting the balloon go. Just think of it as a balloon. Just like let it go. Just let your feelings go. Obviously important to feel them, but once you've done that, then you could let them go and move on with the rest of your day or with the rest of your week. And yeah, it's just, I feel like picking yourself up is very important in those times and how you do that. Because if you don't make the effort to pick yourself back up, then you're just gonna keep falling into like that downward spiral and it's just gonna keep going down and down and down until it's completely out of control and then you got like a real problem. So yeah, that's what I've been working on lately because a while ago when I would get angry or sad or whatever, I would almost like feel bad for myself and I would like wanna keep being sad for some reason. It would just like, just because I literally felt bad for myself and I would just, I wouldn't try and pick myself back up. I would just leave myself feel like that for long periods of time. But I realized that it's just so important to pick yourself back up. And I've also found that like meditation really helps with this. The muscle that you're training in your mind, like whenever I feel angry, what I'll do is I'll just like kind of get into a meditative state where I just let my body relax and I let my mind relax and I just let the thoughts go and then it makes you feel so much better. But yeah, that was just my little chat of the day. I know I've said this like a thousand million times, but it's so beautiful outside. It's already 7.15 and we're gonna have a fire soon. But yeah, just know that you're strong, you guys. You hold the power within yourself. Your attitude is your choice and the way you go about things is your choice. You can blame other factors, but in reality, it's like you choose the way that you act. You choose if you want to pick yourself back up or if you want to fall into that downward spiral. And I know it could be hard, but it's my challenge to you. Just try next time you're feeling angry or sad, just feel it and then let it go and meditate on it or whatever you guys feel the best doing and pick yourself back up. Get back on the horse, you big boy.